I'm a little ratchet. <laughs> Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. I have been waiting so long to say that. Y'all, y'all, y'all don't understand. If you know me, you know I've been wanting to do this for a minute now. I just had to force myself to do it, but I'm so glad you are here and watching me. Uh, anyway, let's get into the video. So yes, this is my first video. I decided to start off with a Q&A so y'all can get to know me. I asked questions on Instagram and some on Facebook and I got both. So what I did, I got a lot of the same questions to be honest. So I just put them in my notes on my phone. The first question is, where are you from? I'm from Dallas, Texas, born and raised. Have not lived anywhere else. I've lived places throughout the Dallas Metroplex, but out of state, no. Yeah, no. How old am I? 25 years young. Um, where did you go to school? Which school? I don't know if they're talking about high school, college. Well, I feel like high school don't matter at this point. So college, for my undergrad, I went to Texas Women's University, and that's in Denton, Texas. And for my master's, I went to Lamar University, and that's in Beaumont, Texas. Fun fact, I've never stepped foot on Lamar campus until it was time to graduate. My next question is, what made you want to become an educator? Now, I was actually debating about even answering this question or putting this question on here. One, of course, everybody knows I'm a teacher if you follow me on Instagram, but this page, I don't wanna talk about teaching at all. I really don't, like that's, that's a work. I, I'm separating work and YouTube. But the question again, what made you want to become an educator? Girl, I ask myself that every day. Every day. Teaching was not my first plan. I changed majors in college like three times. And teaching was one of those backup plans. I know I would be good at it. I know I'm good with kids. So, bam, I'm here today. The weekend, for sure. For sure the weekend. And I don't know, that's a hard question. <laughs> I mean, are you going to make videos about teaching? I don't want to say no, even though I just said I didn't want to talk about teaching in general on this channel. But I don't want to say no. And if y'all really start asking me questions about teaching, I may make a video. But that's not the goal here. Uh, what do you do in your free time? I hate this question. <laughs> Cause I feel like I don't do anything. Now that I'm not in school anymore, I realize that I don't have any hobbies or things I really do in my free time. So I'm really still learning what I should do in my free time. I watch YouTube, I watch TV, barely. I listen to music. I like going out sometimes with my friends and boyfriend. That's it, like nothing major. Who is your favorite artist? Be honest. I, I'm a little rich. I love, love Young Dog. I do. And I feel so embarrassed <laughs> by saying this. Like, are you a teacher and you love Young Dog? How? But teacher got a lot too. Um, yeah, but Young Dog, The Weeknd. And honestly, if it's not R&B and hip hop, I don't want to hear it. Music or podcast. So it depends on the mood. In the morning, going to work, I'd rather put on a podcast. Like, I can't be playing Young Dolphin, Key Glock, going to work at 6 o'clock in the morning. No, I can't. So, I really, really love podcasts. My favorite one is Earn Your Leisure. Like, if you have not checked them out, girl, get your life. That one and uh, Therapy for Black Girls is another good one. And I'm trying to get into true crime podcast so if y'all have any suggestions for me just leave them in the comment where i should start because i don't know where to start yet but it, it just seemed interesting and yeah music is of course after work or if i'm just here chilling at the house like so both. Uh, what shows are you watching i'm really not a tv person so if you catch me watching a show that show has to be really interesting for one. I ain't got nothing else to do. 
or it has to be really interesting. Um, I just finished watching Pose. They did. That show, I feel like I learned so much about that community, the LG, I, I don't want to mess it up, but that community, I feel like I learned so much and I love Pose and honestly, I'm about to rewatch it. Just, it was great. All right, so here's a question everyone keeps asking me. How does it feel being a homeowner? Congratulations again. Thanks, girl. I feel, <laughs> nothing wrong, I feel great. I know that I made a great decision. It's definitely, definitely a wonderful feeling, but I feel too grown. That's how I honestly feel like. I just, I just feel too grown. It's, it's wonderful but grown. <laughs> Next question is, can you walk through your house buying process? So I'm gonna make a separate video um, about my house buying process because it's so much. Like, I cannot answer that question right now. This video will be an hour long. It's a lot, but I will say just to give you some answer, it's not as bad as you guys think. It's, it's really not. It's probably way more simple than what you think and if you feel like this is something you should do go for it it's it's i mean it's a great asset to have so yeah i'm gonna make a separate video so if y'all have any more questions about house buying um the process what i did what i looked for realtors things like that drop those questions in the comment as well and that's going to help me for the video next question is how long have you been natural I've been natural 2015, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20. Six years? Jeez. Um, so yeah, six years. I honestly, when I went to college, my second semester, I decided to go natural because I was the type to get my hair done every two weeks. I was in that beauty shop get my hair fried, dyed, and laid to the side every two weeks. And when I went to college, one, I didn't have the money, and two, I didn't want to keep driving back home every two weeks to get my hair done. So I decided to go natural. Um, one of the best decisions I ever made. Do you recommend the big chop? Yes, sis, I do. If you are thinking about chopping your hair off, just do it. It's gonna grow back, it's hair. My hair grows back <laughs> and I feel like when you think about it like that your hair grows back even faster and that's how I thought like one day I was just sitting there now and I had contemplated for a little bit I let my hair grow out because I didn't want a teeny weeny fro but it ended up being a teeny weeny fro so I did big chop um when I first went natural and it was one of the best decisions I just took care of my hair and it grew how did you grow your hair after the second big chop? Girl, how do you remember I chopped my hair off twice? <laughs> okay, so the second time, it was not as big as the first one. The first one, like, like, I look like a little boy. I would say that. And at that time, I wasn't even wearing makeup and eyelashes or none of that. So I really look like a little boy. Second time, I cut it off because I had dyed my hair blonde. Biggest mistake, even though my hair's red right now. I dyed it blonde, it just took a lot of my hair out and it just didn't feel healthy. So I let it grow out and as it was growing out, I just cut my ends, cut my ends, cut my ends. So it wasn't a really, really big chop like the first one. But what I did, I really just, the second time, I wore a lot of protective styles. I will say that I started getting sew-ins, braids, twists. Like I just kept my fingers out my hair, period. And I really feel like that helped me, so tip for that tips for moisturizing so are you talking about the hair or are you talking about the skin or both <laughs> but i know what you're talking about you're talking about the hair i'm relearning this process because i just dyed my hair probably a month ago and i forgot how dye really dries your hair out so yeah but what i did before the dye i used of course water oil and then some type of cream i am going to do like a product video and what i do uh, to my hair how to keep it moisturized but as soon 
as you know your hair is getting dry please reapply moisture and sometimes to not get product overload you have the product in your hair already you probably just need to wet it with some water that's it but yeah just keep that in mind and also for me now since my hair is dyed and bleach i wash my hair probably every three to four days just so i can retain that moisture so it really depends on your hair and how you want to keep it moisturized but definitely definitely do not let your hair go dry please ladies and gentlemen buy silk pillows buy silk scarf uh, buy silk scrunchies every, silk everything because cotton dry your hair out and it starts breaking off and I'm not going to lie, I'm not a big bonnet person. I do not like wearing a bonnet, I'm sorry. But I do have a silk pillowcase. That will help you retain moisture as well and reduce breakage. Next question is, do you notice a correlation between stress and hair growth? Ooh. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> so I definitely heard that you can lose hair from being stressed and things like that. I personally have not experienced that. Usually when I'm stressed, my face just break out. Like I really don't notice what my hair is doing. Probably because I have a hair routine. I try to keep keep on it even if I am stressed or going through a lot at the time. But like I said, my face break out. But I can only imagine that that is probably some factor to that. And I will say, I notice because I do this, whenever I am stressed or busy or got too much going on, I put my hair in buns all the time, all week, for three weeks, don't go without washing my hair and stuff like that. So just remember during, during those stressful times, you need to take care of your hair as well. Please let your hair breathe. If you had a bun all day, take that scrunchie down as soon as you get home. Same thing. If you having wigs, take that mug off as soon as you get home. Make sure you oil where your scrunchie or wh wherever your bun is. Put oil right there because usually that tends to break off. Just saying. Oil your hair. Man. Yeah. So, definitely, I'm pretty sure that is a thing. I just personally have not experienced. I can't speak on that. I'm sorry. Um, how much do you do you take your hair porosity into account? None. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. Uh y'all gonna find out real quick. I'm a lazy natural. I, I don't know. I don't know nothing about no hair porosity. I, of course I've watched videos and tried to guess what I have, high, low, medium, in between. I, I don't know what I have. I just if the product works for me, I'm gonna keep using it till it don't work no more. All I know is it does take my hair a little while to get wet. So if I'm trying to shower and wash my hair, I really have to sit there till my hair is drenched. And I think that's like a low porosity thing. But to be honest, girl, I don't I really don't know. Like if the products work, it works. And I feel like sometimes we think too much about hair porosity and girl just find what works for you i, I don't i don't know <laughs> next question is what videos will we see on your channel and this is actually the last question on this channel of course i'm going to give you guys hair tips tricks what i use my favorite products only are you going to see hair videos because i feel like it's there's only so many hair videos I can make. Like I said, I'm a lazy natural. So my routine don't switch up that often. <laughs> but besides hair, of course, I moved into a brand new house. <laughs> so I love to decorate. So definitely each room is about to be decked out. When I said painted, wallpaper, real cute furniture. Like I cannot wait to film that process um not only that i do plan on doing vlogs maybe mini vlogs weekend vlogs you really just have to stay tuned in because i'm gonna give you a lot and y'all gonna enjoy it so thank you so much for watching my first video if you have video suggestions put a comment 
Uh, I need to know what are some things y'all want to see. Thank y'all again for watching. And please do not forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Oh, I'm a YouTuber. I really just said that. Dang. All right. I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye.